Hello everyone, it is Charlotte here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I have a Angel Dream Crafts Kim design team project to share with you today. This is my first design team project for the month of August. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. All the information for this video is uh, found in the description box below where you can get these trims on Kim's shop on Etsy, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and please be sure to check out the other designers and see what they, what they do with their laces because there's a lot of inspirational um, ideas out there and just beautiful, beautiful talent. It's incredible. So this story behind this set comes from this bag. This uh, this project is very much, uh, it was, it's similar to what I did last month. I did a bag and a journal, but um, in the process of doing that, I found this cotton bag. And this cotton bag was something I had in my stash and hadn't seen. It's, it's like a muslin cotton. And the minute I saw it, I knew I wanted to create something with it. Now this measures approximately a four by four. I think this bag is maybe a four and a half. I oh, no, it's a five. A five by four is what the bag measures. Um, I started by layering uh, this particular trim right here on top of the bag. So if you lift this up in the back, you can see the bag. I've sewn 99% uh, of the trims on by hand doing slow stitching. You can see that if you look inside here on the trim, there are a few pieces that have some glue on them, but the majority was stitched by me. So once I got this piece on here, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous cotton lace? It is this design here. Oh, it's just so pretty and each little piece can be cut out. So um, what I did is I stitched that on and then I came in the bottom and I put this lace on and I don't have any more of this. I need to see if Kim's shop still has this because isn't that gorgeous? It's a floral lace with the dangles. And then on top of that, I stitched on this ruffle, polka dot ruffle. It's got great texture. You can feel the scallops on the bottom and you can feel each of the little polka dots. It's just beautiful. And then on top of that, I went and added a piece of this long dangle trim, which um, is, this is the last I have of this gorgeous lace. Look at that. It was difficult for me. See how pearlized and shiny this is? It's so beautiful. Look at that. It just lays so nice. I had a hard time with that because I didn't want to cover it up and you can, you can barely see any of the top of the dangle trim. Uh, that is my the hardest thing for me is layering lace because the lace is so gorgeous that you don't want to cover it all up. You want it to show and when you layer it, that's a difficult thing to do. Then um, I had added double. I don't believe I have any more of this left. Um, if I do, I am not seeing it. I have it in pink, which I can show you. This is the lace in pink. It's a double ruffle and it has um, polka dots. You can see the polka dots on both the layers. And that's what this is in, in a uh, white. You can see it better on this side here. There's a polka dot. I wanted to keep this pretty neutral. I don't usually work in neutrals and I just thought, oh, it's so romantic and gorgeous. Let's just keep the neutrals. 
Then I had trim where I cut these leaves out. Uh, the larger one is on the front, the uh, smaller one is on the back. And I used vintage buttons. Here's a vintage button, vintage button here, and a vintage button here. The buttons are not from Kim's shop. Um, I have a large stash of buttons, as you can see right here, and that's what I pulled from. Kim's shop does have buttons, so I would suggest if you need buttons that you go have a look at what she's got. I used um, seam binding ribbon here to create the bow and then used a mother of pearl button on top. These uh, flowers are from Kim's shop and you can see they have little pearls and they've got bling in the center. So I used three of these. And then this little butterfly here is actually a button. I used it as a charm and that's so pretty 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 with that bling then there is this lace here let me take a peek and see I don't know I may have some of that lace left here is a bit of it right here look at how no that is not that lace but that lace is from Kim shop I here we go I've got a little bit of this left, not a lot. Right here, this is how it comes. Absolutely gorgeous, look at that. Love that lace. And then at the very top under the pearls is this lace here. And this is all I have of this, so I definitely need to go shopping. And then a bling heart here. This is what ties this little journal with this bag. So um, yeah, that is just stunning. Uh, oh, this is the back. Let's get back to the front. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, Charlotte. Okay, so these three flowers, Kim's got them in pink. Isn't that luscious? Isn't that just gorgeous? And she may have other colors, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the pink is beautiful. And then I did finish the back off very similar to the front. I used the um, smaller leaves that I had cut. There's another vintage button right there. I used one of these flowers. There's a vintage button on the seam binding ribbon. And then to tie this with the little journal, I used this pearl with the bling around it. and. Um, all of these elements are in Kim's shop. That's where I got these. So I knew I was going to do this bag. I was excited to do the bag. I knew I was going to do make the back look just as good as the front. But I wanted the journal to go inside the bag. This journal, like so many that I create, is too full and it will not fit in this bag. So. Um, this will be in my shop and you actually get uh, a good deal because you get a bag, you get a journal, and you can put whatever you want in this little, in this little bag. Just, just beautiful. Just to have this sitting out. If you're a shabby kind of lacy person, gorgeous. So this seam binding here is what goes around this journal as its closure and I used the same trim that I used on the bag, I used on the cover of this journal, and this journal measures, if I go from paper to paper, it's about a three by three, not counting the lace that hangs over. And I just, I took, I wanted everything to be just very calm looking and romantic and just monochromatic in color. So um, we have a seam binding ribbon bow here, one button. Um, I thought about putting a button in there, but I like to work in threes and I thought, no, this, this is enough. Then we've got the heart that matches the back of the bag here and this, and this gorgeous flower. So um, this little journal 
opens up just like that just easy easy we've got a tag here and a piece of um, lace it is actually lace off of this this is what it where it comes from right here you just cut this apart use it however it is actually this right here So I thought that was so cute. It's kind of like a lace sample book. Then we've got this running lace here. I call it running lace. I know that's wrong. But this, this flower trim lace, so beautiful. I find myself using this on so many projects. Vintage book page here, another vintage book page. Encyclopedia page, vintage. This right here is this lace that was used underneath these pearls here then this is the last piece of this I have I dearly love this and there's a couple tags in there it is a belly band vintage book page here is a leaf that I cut out from um, one of the pieces of lace similar to this then this is from, let's see if I can find this. I should have a piece of this somewhere. This right here, this is all I have left. So I just cut it from here. It's a very nice weight cotton, really, really good quality. So this makes a little pocket here. It's got a couple little tags in it. Um, a piece of vintage paper there. Vintage book page. Music page. This uh, daisy trim here. I'm not sure that I have. Let me see. I should have had all these laces laid out but I did show these laces when I first got them and was unpacking them I don't see them um, but I know I've got a, just a little piece maybe like that three four inches of that trim left beautiful on the front beautiful on the back gorgeous piece here again another piece I had cut out this piece here of these daisy flowers, so, so pretty. I use that to make just a little tuck and there's a couple tags in there. This piece here, I don't know if you remember, it comes like this. I cut a piece out to use um, as just a little tuck, not much of one. That's why we have this little paper clip. This page is a large, daisy or a large flower that I had cut out of a piece of yardage from Kim's shop and added a couple tags. Um, these tags are all from Artie Mays' shop. Her, she's got a digital. Vintage music. Love that it's got the cutouts. Uh, vintage. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, a uh, dictionary page, coffee tea dyed page there. Then we've got a pocket here. This trim, this is all that I have left of this dangle trim. Isn't that gorgeous? Shiny, beautiful. That's the right side. Dangle trim. This is what was on the front of the bag cut out so you don't see. You have the dangles but the trim is underneath these flowers, so it's difficult to see the trim. But looking at this, you can see how gorgeous it is. So I use that to create a little pocket, put a couple pieces of uh, tag in there. This page is a fold out or a flip. It's got a piece of Kim's lace right there. This piece is from a couple months ago. Um, it is a belly band and it's got a couple tags in it. 
Then we've got this pocket here. I will put something in this pocket. I just haven't yet. This, this set is going in my Etsy shop, so if you're seeing this, it should be in there. Um, whoever purchases this, I will send uh, ephemera, so there will be something inside this pocket. This opens up. Vintage, uh, two vintage pages here. The back page, another piece of gorgeous trim and then a uh, belly band using the um, daisies and the scallop trim. So there's three little pieces of ephemera in there and then this is the back. So just beautiful guys, absolutely stunning. And um, make sure you go have a look. You don't wanna miss anything. It's good quality lace. A huge variety of lace. Kim also carries tiles and she carries uh, book pages, um, vintage uh, book pages, and she carries fabric. And you just, she sells out of a lot of things quickly. So I would highly recommend that you check back often. Please don't miss the other designers because they are so talented. Uh, you'll get a lot of great ideas and check them out give them a thumbs up leave a comment for them that you came and visited and thank you guys so much for um, visiting with me today I hope you really really enjoyed this share I had a lot a lot of fun more coming up I'll see you in the next video hugs guys bye